Hello everybody, welcome to an episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sails. So last time we captured HMS Beaker and Margaret, and we got a loss for some reason. Oh well, we can now continue and end the chapter. The Rattlesnake. We began our fight with foul ships, weapons, or funding. Over the past year we have built up our fleet and learned how to defeat the wanted Royal Navy step by step. For our victories we have proven that we are now a formidable force to be reckoned with. Okay, so what do we have? No money, apparently. Um, the fleet under British command of John Polk got a massive victory over the British at the Battle of Yarmouth. The ship of the line HS Lennox and her escort were outmaneuvered and defeated by far smaller ships of our growing navy. With the victory, the sea lanes around Nova Scotia are ruled by our ships, and British supply ships sail in constant fear of being discovered. Very good. Wolf pack, not for us. Let's see. June 6th, 1776, and Battle of Turtle Cut Inland. Two uh, land battles. Uh, naval battles. After a successful raid on NASA's port, our fleet was sailing back with its prizes when it encountered the HMS Glasgow. It is crucial that we deliver these prizes safely or else risk our forces going without supply again. Your objective is to sail and reinforce the fleet to secure the area around Block Island. Remember to avoid a British squadron near Newport, or we risk not only losing the prize fleet, but our fleet as well. Okay. Um, obviously we repair her. And we get her going. I want to add her to the fleet. Oh, we can afford that. Um, oof. Okay. We can afford this much. Um, Margaret, we will send to Admiralty. I think we're I think we're selling this vessel. I can't see ourselves. Uh it's just a sloop of war. Let's uh, sell some stuff. I can't see our ourselves affording, being able to afford that. I'm not sure if that gives money or costs money. But yeah, gotta sell some stuff because I can't see ourselves staying afloat if we don't. Okay, so we have two third rates. All ready to go. Oops. Okay, good. We will repair you. We will repair you. Uh, let's see. Sea service with bayonet. Let's buy 200 of those. Okay. So, uh, hmm. 
Yes, I guess, uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, 17,000 total. Yeah, we can't afford to add more ships to the fleet, though. Oof. And we have to win this, there's no doubt about it. Let's see. Let's do uh, one on each side. Okay, let's start. We are returning from successful raid on the Bahamas where we captured several prizes. We hope to get lucky and capture more British ships on our way home. So we have several ships scouting from the main column. One of our scouts, scouts on our right flank spotted a sail on the horizon that turned out to be a British frigate and are planning to attack it. However, we must also protect the prizes carrying weapons and ammunition from the Bahamas. They must reach New London. We must be wary of encountering with British squadron based out of Newport. That looks a bit bigger than a frigate. I'm right, that is a bit bigger than a frigate. Don't sail that way. Load the grape. Load the grape. Full sail ahead. You guys have guns, but... Screw that, just... We don't need those small ships to join, they're just too small to be of any use against ships of the line. Okay. Get the grape loaded and we're going to uh, employ similar tactics. We're going to grape down to Glasgow. Although the Glasgow we won't capture, we are going to... Uh, Correction. We are going to capture the Glasgow, but we aren't going to add her to her fleet. We're going to dismiss her. For those reputation points. Uh, let's keep you sailing this way. But at a reduced speed. How fast are you going? Two and a half knots. So let's try and match two and a half knots. I expect that there will be more enemies at some point. So let's keep it safe. Chalmer Valorous are the important boys. Okay. Let's just speed things up a little. It is morning right now. Not night. And also, let's make uh, this boring operation a lot less uh, deadly than the last one. Let's try, at least. And what is he doing? Is he gonna try to attack? Seems to be a very awkward position to try to attack in. Okay, that's regular ball.
Okay, let's control the fury separately. Just for the, the safety of the fury. After all, speak, you can take a couple of hits. Fury can't. That was a lot of bounces. Come on, keep on turning, speaker. I told you to keep on turning. Ah, a bit out of range for proper... Good proper uh, broadside, but good enough, apparently. Let's see if we can get the Fury on this turn of the Glasgow. Uh, hold the left fire for now. Glasgow is taking a bit of a meet meeting from all of this rape. As we slowly approach the Glasgow, get closer and closer. You are allowed to fire now, by the way, Fury. Okay, it's half decent, but I would like to get the speaker closer. That's for sure. That all bounced. Let's go for the attack again with the HMS Fury. Yep. Okay. Let's have you guys head over here. My prediction was in fact correct. Let's have you guys head over here. That's a view, full sail. Head about there. Let's see if we can go for the attack, because we are taking more of a beating than I would like on the starboard side. Let's have you attack as well. Awesome that uh, Glasgow cut her sails. That's a proper... Ooh, that hurts in terms of crew.
That is not good shooting. Let's have you weigh anchor for now. Okay, good, good, good. I have no clue where, what direction he's going to sail, so let's just... Give the HMS Fury another couple of broadsides in. Okay, let's sail further upwind. You are four and off rigged after all. Use that to your advantage to avoid those guys. Okay, set sail to Fury again. Stern is just outside of range. Have you go for attack then? Just a bit for downwind. Just to ensure that we have proper wind in our sails. Let's turn in to get our broadside in. And let's turn into his gunfire, hopefully get our other side in. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Actually... Yeah, no, let's not. It's not gonna happen. Come on, go a bit faster, please. Have you separate GTFO ASAP? Ah, that's not an ideal broadside, but whatever. Okay, slow down. So that the Fury can get her uh, Sternic in. Let's sail more this direction. Please tell me he's within range for the Fury. Or she, rather. Ah, bollocks.
Okay, that's safe. Did I ever see what kind of shit this was? This is a... That ignores class, okay. Oops, wrong button. Okay, that's our guns. Okay, you're not allowed to fire just yet. Not yet. Wait for it. Oops. We are not getting a good shot off. She was able to attack quicker than I had hoped. Let's just start the boarding with the speaker. If we can. One more broadside in. Oh, fire, that's bad. Come on, come on, quick. Uh, half screw to deal with the fire. Hopefully they can deal with the fire. Oh yes, okay. It seems that the fire is being put under control. As soon as the fire is done, we're going to send two of these groups to uh, the main fl main ship again. Okay, cool. Join that. And while that happens... Lower sales.
Broken rod turns slower, but it doesn't stop from turning if I understand correctly. Or at least I hope that's the case. What's the minimum? Does it say how what the minimum crew is required? She doesn't seem to be operating her rigging, so... That does worry me a bit. Or her sales rather. Yeah. I was below the minimum crew. Okay. So while the speaker did take some damage, she is ready for action again. Let's turn the Glasgow down here. You're not trying to attack, are you? You are. Uh, load the grape. Load the grape. Do you have grape? No. This does leave the HMS speaker with less crew than I would have liked. I think I might sell one of uh, one of the frigates in the next episode or something. Well, maybe two frigates to keep one of those third rates. Okay, let's uh, speed things up a little. Okay. It seems that uh, Fury has become a primary target for the Ufer. Or for the remaining British task force. Consisting of a frigate and a third rate. Oh. Okay, good. Some of the boats are running away. The Yeoman does worry me a bit, since none of these other ships are in position yet. Can you get your guns to bear? Good, one has escaped. Yes. No kills though, that's a shame. Oh wait, no kills yet. No. Ah, a couple of kills, excellent. Very good. 
he is shooting bulls. HMS Fury can take a couple broadsides from the you for that's for sure. Excellent. Let's send uh, Hancock separately. I believe she can go uh, faster than uh, the other Lennox can. Is this all of the sail we expect? No more ships. Okay, let's exchange a couple of broadsides like this. Let's have you head slightly more southward, eastward. Let's do one more broadside from HMS Fury, then we'll do a jibe so that we can start engaging with the whole fleet. Let's hope that the Glasgow can pass by safely. Okay, find a broadside. Okay, let's have the speaker turn around a bit so that she can pop broadside into the yeoman. And hopefully kill a few people, but it doesn't seem that way. Ah. Handful, seven people. Actually, let's have the fury run downwind a bit to avoid the guns of the yeoman. No, we have to keep you going. Okay, we can, the speaker can cut, take a couple of hits. Better the speaker than the fury. Can I also turn the speaker to get a broadside on the Ufer? I believe it's going to be, hey, full speed, full speed. It's going to be tight, but I believe so, yes. Let's have you slow down. Wait, what 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 ammo do you have? Okay, good. Let's go full speed ahead. Oh that was a bit of a lag spike. Let's turn the speaker to hopefully get into safety. She is in a bit of a precarious situation with the omen. Looks like Glasgow is getting a broadside in into the Ufer. Always pleasant to see. Okay, the U for some fire. Let's have a frigate's focus on the U for.
Both of them have grape here. Excellent. Ooh, she has taken a beating, hasn't she? Turn around so the speaker can pop a broadside into the omen. Okay, beautifully executed. Just keep on sailing, Glasgow. Keep on sailing. Okay. Let's turn you around to get a broadside on the Uther. The Lennox as speaker should be giving uh, the Yeoman a very bad day now. 264s on the east side on the Omen. Should start hemorrhaging crew pretty soon. She's sailing. The Lennox is sailing a bit too fast for the Omen. on Hancock faster Some more sail for Lennox let's try have the fury go for the boarding The omen is uh, starting to feel it in terms of heat. And so is the Ufer. Let's not go too fast. I do want Fury to start boarding you for ASA people. Okay, let's have speaker disengage. Actually, let's not have speaker disengage. Uh, go a bit closer. fire which is a bit of a problem but other than that other than that everything is going perfectly sweet perfectly smooth well, an HMS speaker has a uh, taking take a lot of uh, beating.
Okay, let's sail him. There. Just to be on the safe side of things. Ah, that also works. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Five minutes make the difference between victory and defeat, and this was a glorious victory. Battle of Block Island. The prize fleet has given the men both the will and the means to continue the fight against the British. The crippling bow your reinforcements had the British has greatly reduced their effectiveness in the region. Things might finally be looking up. Hey, and some sea service uh, stuff. Let's, uh, let's increase our luck. Okay, so uh, I think uh, this calls for uh, the end of the episode. I do hope you all enjoyed me capturing some beautiful trophy ships, as you can see here. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!